Runaway Robot. Welcome, everyone, ah. to a new character creation for a brand new show. Holy crap. Uh, which will be Dungeon Mastered by Bonus Stage Rob. I see Rob's Rob's green screen is slightly off, so oh, I'm going to no. fix that real quick. I'm so sorry. There you go. Oh, he nailed it. Abyss. Done. He now we're now you're the in there. For now we're in there. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Hello. Um, I hope you all have your coffees ready because we're starting real early today, comparatively to when we normally do. So cheers, everyone. Take your take your sips. Ah, that's good. Okay, so for those of you that don't know, we're going to be starting a new. D&D 5e game, Dungeon Mastered by our good friend here, Bonus Stage Rob, for That's if true. you guys don't know, has been on shows before, has been here a while, um, I, I call on him a lot because he is a, he's a good boy and a great role player and uh, a good friend, and uh, we're going to give him the reins here, we're going to give him some, some Dungeon Master reins. And uh, our new show is called Cyprus. Uh, Rob, do you want to tell us a little bit about your world and things that you're going to be dragging us into in about a week? <laughs> Dragon. Hello. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So, so the the um, so the province in the in the Robiverse that we are in um, is Moreka, and it's a very uh, a marshy. Marshy, uh, a wetlandy type place, um, and it's. I believe I like the way that you phrase this, Joel. So the world itself is not. Um, I don't even really believe I've given it a name. Um, the world is not wildly explored yet. Like there's there's enough for for different provinces to know of each other's existence. There's enough interaction where trades are are done over like zone borders and whatnot. Um, but a large scale like age of discovery, I believe you called it, hasn't existed yet. It hasn't happened yet. Um, and so we're, we're just kind of focusing in a couple different uh, provinces here. Um, and so Moreka is a it's it's largely ag agricultural. Um, there's like a rich series of like plantations and uh, and farms and whatnot and, and villages and everything that that kind of are under the collective protection of the Cypress Company, uh, which was which was formed basically to ally the trade networks together or, or, or to create a trade network rather and have it um, protect these farms from uh, like bad deals, uh, bandits, whatnot. Uh, and so they, they handle the export of goods to outside nations uh, as well as protect the existing farms it's kind of like a fighter's guild kind of like a trade company it's a little bit of both um cool. yeah so so then uh i guess that's kind of where the story picks up and there's um i don't i'm trying to see if i yes so there's there is a rival company right now um as the story <laughs> picks up that is kind of sniping uh contracts with farms and it's weird because these farms kind of seem to have like a low yield and and like maybe things go wrong and then suddenly this other company sweeps in and it's like yo cypress ain't doing shit for you um we got you though and so could be foul play could be coincidence could be you know whatever um and so the cypress company calls on uh outside contractors to investigate which are our players who are all very very interesting i just want to say that right now that mm. from having spoken to everybody, I love where you're going with your characters. They're all, Yay! they're all I'm very, stoked. I think the hardest thing for me so far as a DM is trying to figure out how these four unique characters come together because they are so different and I love it. Money. All have, yeah, no, that's absolutely what it is. The biggest and, and driver. I, <laughs> and I, I love it because it's pretty much the equivalent of you met in a tavern. I mean, it's, it's yeah. you met because there was a job posting on Indeed in, in Marika <laughs> and, and, you know, um, oh but no, God. it's it's very interesting. Like, I love it. I love what you guys have done so far. Um, May, May's character uh, may have interest in the company. You and Stella sound like you have your own kind of thing going on. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and Nick and I need to get together, but he's given me a little bit of background. Uh, and and it sounds, I like what, I, excuse me, what I'm hearing so far from him. So, as well. 
we'll go off on a little bit of a tangent here. Sure. Uh, so we haven't officially announced the casting, but Rob just did. So Fuck. we're gonna do this right now. Hello. Okay. Hi. This, sorry. We're gonna do this. I'm we're gonna sorry. do this. We're gonna do this right now. Oh golly. Um, the the uh, the casting announcement here is that we have Bonus Stage Rob DMing, Stella Luna, myself, the Lady May, and Nick Kibbles will be playing in the game. Uh, for those of you guys that might be interested in something else that's a little new, I'm going to be moving a lot of our uh, random D and D tweets from my own account to uh, to a different one. What? Um. So if you guys are interested in following what? the Diefall specific RPG Twitter account. It is shiny and chrome and new. Oh, and uh, the announcement shit. tweet just went live just then. So if you guys would like to go take a look at all of our new cast members there, that's the place to do it. Um, go follow them as well. Uh, sure. Some of those faces you'll know, and some of them will be new faces. So Joke's that's on you. We're looking forward to it. I didn't ruin that announcement because I didn't know it existed. There it is. I mean, I knew I was going to do it today. It was already prepped. <sighs> so... It was a great lead-in for that, so thank you guys so much for that. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be the the new Diefall uh, account for all of the show announcements and things of that nature. So, if you guys don't want to, if you don't want to know all of them, don't follow it. But if you're here watching this, I'm pretty sure you want to, so go do that. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, that's the casting announcement. Um, we do have uh, it'll. It was a it was a it was a trial I think in casting for Rob and I. Um, we had a lot of good sure was. a lot of good applications Absolutely. and it was an interesting thing for us to take a look at. That was the first time we'd ever done open casting. Um, yeah, it's also the first so time I've curious. ever been in control of like basically people auditioning and me having to pick and choose people and it's a nightmare and I don't know how people do it uh, because it's tough. Everybody that I, I I was at least familiar with on that list I love. And everybody, I like to do my research on people when they have like social media and, and, and whatnot. And like, there was a lot of people on that list that I was like, I, even if I don't see you this time, like I'd like to follow what you do and, and check you out because there was some really talented yeah. role players, some really talented uh, creators on this list. Um, oh my God, it was, I hate it. I, 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 I hate having, it. <laughs> I hate having to pick. Can I just it, DM a game with twenty people? Like, is yeah, that okay? um, yeah, yeah. I can't handle that production-wise, though. So sorry, no, bud. <laughs> no, absolutely not. I, I don't think my brain could handle it. I can't uh, believe you survived eight players. Um, that was that was a time. That was, uh, but that was good. It was, was great. Good. It was really great. Um. So yeah. So guys, thank you uh, for all the support and all that kind of stuff that allows me to feel good about making the decision to make this kind of its own entity. And there's going to be a lot more going forward in that regard. Uh, and I can't wait to to share it all with you guys. Um. That all being said, so that's the casting announcement. Uh. But Rob and I today are going to. Uh, do a little bit of character creation for myself. I don't get to create so many characters that I get to play, so I'm actually very excited that I get to roll some dice and see how terrible I'm gonna be. All right. Um, Shit. But I also I'm very I'm very excited to see where it uh, where it goes. So let's head on over to our roll twenty account here. All right. Um. So I'm gonna take a look at my journal. Did you give me a character sheet, Rob? I, I I will do such a thing. Um, Excellent. Oh golly! Add character. Um, name. Oh yeah, that's the Cypress logo, by the way, chat. I love it. Know. By that's the way, that's it there. Uh, <laughs> that's it there. Name. Help. <laughs> Help. Uh, you don't need to name it at oh, all. Oh, okay. You can just put Joel's Robo's character sheet or something. Robot I just need a sheet man. for this. Robot man, that's good. Uh, that's in good. Players journals. Name it help. Yeah. Okay. Robot. Okay. And yeah, and also make it in yours. Robot. Yeah, make it also in your edit ability as well. That, that would be Diefall, Yeah. Correct. Not yeah. Honestly, I don't need to join the game. Correct. Like you don't. You Tight. don't. You have. You have all of the power right now. You have love all it. of the creation power with that account. I love it. Okay. Joel's character um, is the help. Wowie. All right. Thanks, chat. Save. <laughs> Runaway Robot Man. There it is, chat. Feels good. Dr. Feels robot Man. Good. Dr. Robot Man. Okay. Out of curiosity, um, can you see tags? Can I see tags? No, no, no. Uh, that's for your searchability. Oh, okay. So, so if, if I you find... set tags. Okay. So if I want to find you, I search handsome boy. Got it. 
That is oh, oh that was that was sweet. Um, so this is Runaway Robot Man. Uh, so this is we're gonna see what happens here. Um, Stella and I already talked a little bit about how our characters are gonna interact, and I've already thought about what we're what I'm gonna be. I'm gonna play a barbarian. I'm also gonna be a dragonborn barbarian. Love it. Um, so I'm super stoked. I've never played a dragonborn. I've never even had a. Uh, I've had like a couple dragonborn NPCs, but never in a capacity that I got to like utilize the fact that they're a dragonborn. Sure. Um, so I'm gonna smash stuff, they're, and I can't wait great. to smash stuff. They are very good. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. I'm super I'm super. Yeah, the second coming of Grundle Snatch, except dragons. Hell uh, so yeah. that's that's that. Uh, so that's that's that thing. So I guess we should probably roll some dice. Kulski, huh? yeah, I was gonna say oh, let's uh, let's start the, the let's start the D1. way it's always been. Oh, let's see these rolls. What color, Dragonborn? Uh, bronze, oh, right? Yes. We decided on I bronze. It was bronze, yeah. Cause lightning, bronze, cause bronze, cause uh, lightning. metallic yes. and lightning. Yes, yes, uh, that yes. was and that was is, my two things. It does tie into a little bit of dwarven and Dragonborn lore. Uh, in yeah, the world, which, we'll do which, some lore stuff. Yeah, too. we'll do some more stuff, especially during the background of things, because I had questions sure. when I was looking Absolutely. at things. So, yeah, we're going to ride the lightning oh, and rolling good. the dice. Feels so good. That's I'm an ready. eight. Oh, chat. God. Holy frick. We're starting, starting real strong. hot. Starting strong. Love it. OK, 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 OK. Bring it back. Feels good, man. Bring it back. OK. Feels OK. Averages. Man. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Average. Oh, God. OK, that's not bad. That's a plus zero. Give that's me not anything. Bad. That's also a plus zero. It's not bad. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, wow. You are just woefully average. Ah. Uh, I'm sorry, brother. I don't even have a 15 in anything. Feels bad. It I looks mean, like my now, trash I mean, you can, you can add, character rolls. You can add, I believe. Uh, does Dragonborn get an ability increase? Uh, strength and con. Did I believe you? are the two. Um, I no, it's strength and uh, charisma. Why am I it's not, strength and charisma. Why am I not seeing this? Uh, yeah, so hang on. I'll, I'll bring up. I have it on my tools page, so I'll bring it up for you guys. Uh -huh. I was looking at backgrounds chat, so hang on. Let me scroll up on this. Um, so in our classes... And then we'll need our oh 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 classes. Okay, I'm looking at oh races. there it is. No, no, no dragonborn. Races. Oh, mm -hmm. ability score plus two to strength. Wow. Yeah, that's smashy beefy. boy. That's beefy. big old smashy boy. I love it. Uh huh. I, I'm not um, used to the way five e tools lays it out. Um, yep. Strength and charisma. Uh, work, so strength I plus work two. With the physical book a lot. Charisma plus one. Love it. So we're yeah, gonna so we'll, see. We'll make a note of that. We're gonna see. Yeah, Cyprus starts next week. Uh, chat, if you oh noticed God, in the so in the does. title, uh, there is a command for that. Cyprus is the new Diefall so Dungeons and Dragons show. Five E Homebrew campaign or campaign DM by Bonus Stage Rob begins May thirtieth at seven p.m. Eastern Golly. time. Yep. So we're starting yeah. real soon. Add that boy to my schedule. Which um which is funny because it's literally the last day of May and I think my promise for for everyone was that we'd start a new show in May ha! so it's literally the last day so Chad I kept my promise we nailed it <laughs> don't, don't say I don't keep my promises Chad all right so this is a problem but I think pretty clearly I'm putting that 14 in strength up top there so it's gonna be a 16 uh, with the plus two and Chad I'll bring this back for you um, so it's gonna be a 16 up top. I don't, I don't, I mean, intelligence, I think it's gotta be the eight, right? Right? God, this sucks. I'm so woefully average. Woefully average. Woefully average. I think I'm gonna put the Poor 11 God. in the charisma just so I can get the bonus and go to 12. Sure, that makes sense. Right? Oh, wait, no, I have a thir I have a 13, right? No, I'm sorry, okay. wait, are evens or odds the way up? Is it even? uh, evens are the pluses. Evens are the pluses, okay. Evens are the pluses. Okay. Um, frick. And before someone has to cancel dues and do not put that don't, evil please on don't us. Say I that. swear to freaking God. Please don't dude, say that. It's already been bad enough in it casting, is, okay? Yeah, don't was, do this to me. It was a trial. Please don't say that. I'll cry. Scheduling is always the hardest part of all Scheduling's of this. Scheduling is a monster. Yeah. Um, okay. So, frick. I, 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 um, I get the plus. So maybe I put the 11 there, so I make it 12. But then I have that 13 sitting there with no pluses. Mm, God, I'm so woefully average, chat. I like my armor class is going to be nothing. This is this sucks. 
This actually sucks. Holy frick. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot of really average numbers. Um... I guess my con should be the 12. Ugh. Okay. Con 12? Oh, yeah, I guess that's what you're working with, huh? Right? Because <sighs> it could, I guess Do, it well, could be the 13, but like... Yeah. Um, where are you putting your 14 in Charisma? 14 already went to Strength, and it got the plus oh, two. Oh, that's the plus so two. The oh, 16. I see. Yep. So it's already there. Understood. I'm kind of contemplating making it con, though. But I don't get any pluses for it. That's the thing. Like, it just doesn't help me out as much. I'm going to leave yeah. it. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. I'm going I'm to smash things. If I die, I die. I will die <laughs> in dies, a blaze. He dies. If he dies, he dies. Um, in a blaze of glory, I, I will it. go down. Um... Freaking A. I guess I put the 11 down here so the charisma ends up being 12 because it has the plus one. So that's the 11. Okay. So the 11, the 8, the. It's weird seeing this happen in real time. 12. Yeah, I know, right? I Isn't am it cool? God. You are. I am a god. I am a god. Wait, so I have a 10 and a 13 remaining. This, this freaking sucks. <laughs> Uh, I have a 10 and a 13. Freaking A, man. Um, I mean, it's a toss-up. I mean, he's not going to be a smart boy. Let's be real here. Let's be real. The 13 goes in the decks, and we just hope for the best. Wow, look at that. I just accidentally rolled Wisdom, and no, he is not a very wise boy either. Here we go. Okay, Um, it is what it is. So... Very cool. Very cool. Uh, what else do I get for my race stuff? Let's see. Oops. Um, uh, so racially, you get... Uh, oh, I should put that breath weapon in. Let's go yes, ahead. Yes, the breath weapon, which for you is lightning. Yeah. 30 feet in line. So you get to you get to shoot the whoop at people. I do. Um, bronze... Dragon burn. Hell yeah. Dragon burn. Dragon burn. Dragon bjorn. Dragon bjorn. Uh, okay, so I just copy and paste that nonsense in there. Bjorn the dragon. And then uh, we'll see here. Hang on a second. Let me go ahead and add this here. Uh, lightning! I'm going to just... That's the name of it. With real it's, lightning. Uh, it's a saving throw. Deck save. Um, saving throw dex versus, what's the DC? Eight plus con plus proficiency. All right. Uh, so wait. Oh, but it didn't add my proficiency. Hang on a second. Wait. Plus con plus. Dex save. 2d6 on a plus con plus proficiency. failed. Oh, half. Uh, save effect is half damage. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just drop and this use it once here. Uh, per short or long rest. Yeah, wait, why doesn't it put my um It's not spell, but like it mm, yeah, it's it's a flat. I'll just make it flat and just give it the number. Why not? Um so it's con plus proficiency, so it's thirteen. We'll just make it flat. There we okay. go. Uh, so the damage uh, for this and is we'll 2 just remember, we'll uh, just make a note that if you ever level up your con. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, and this okay. is... Which I can make a note here. Lightning. Can, uh, I, can I edit notes while you're editing that? Is that a thing? Uh, you you can go in there after I'm done. Because it, it it has to save first. Oh, and then so you it's going to override the changes. Thing. Okay, so I'm, mm -hmm. uh, I'm not going to do just, that. I just finished it. Oh, okay, We're cool. going to see yeah, if it rolls I'm correctly. Gonna, I'm just going to... Put a GM note real quick. Um, well, you know, I rolled good damage on that. That was nice. Uh, so that's cool. Feels good. Feels good. Uh, Wait, there's a healer in this one? Yeah, we actually have a healer. Yeah. Oh, uh, Chaku. Um, yeah, so I'm making a Dragonborn Barbarian. 
This is the first of the character creations that we've done. Not everyone's will be streamed because some of the people wanted to keep it kind of a secret, which is totally fine. Um, but I always stream my character creation stuff, so we're here. We're doing it. We're doing it live, which means, obviously, I roll really terribly publicly, so there you go. Cool. Okay, so I made myself a note there uh, to increase your uh, modifier, or if your modifier increases, we'll increase that. Awesome. Uh, okay, so that's the breath weapon. What else do I get for Dargonborn? Damage resistance. Dargonborn, oh, that's yes. cool. You are resistant to lightning resist. Boogaloos. Hell yeah. Uh, and you can speed, speak, read, or write common and draconic. And I think resist everything. to lightning damage. Cool. I can speak, read, and write draconic and common. Heck is that yeah. what it is? Yep. Um, okay, so let's do language draconic. Uh, common. Dope. Yeah. Um, excellent, excellent, excellent. Draconic is thought to be one of the oldest languages often used to study of magic. Oh, I guess it depends because this is a homebrew. We'll see. But yours is, you said it was part of like a creation myth, which sounds oh, sure. pretty freaking old. Yeah. Um, cool. Yeah. Speed 30. Um, wow. I am garbage town. Holy frick. Nah, okay. You're okay. Cool. Gonna be cool. Fine. We're doing real good, chat. Um, gonna be fine. You're a baby, bur baby burb. Baby barbarian. <laughs> baby barbarian. All right. So let's take a look, I guess, at, at barbarian stuff now, right? I think I did all this stuff for a race, so that's good. Uh, first level is 12 plus con. I'm I'm a squishy barbarian. I have 13 a health. Squish. Yeah. 13 health. Um, perfect. Uh, proficiencies, light armor, medium armor, and shields. Yes, sir. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do these, all these proficiencies and stuff. Um, proficiencies, light armor, medium armor. You don't have to put all these in here, chat, but I do because I like the fact that I can just drag and drop all of this nonsense yeah, in here. It just I, feels I good to, to do. Um, cause you never know when it'll come up and True. I need a constant reminder when I'm proficient in something, when I add it to a check, I am proficient in simple and martial weapons. Hell yeah. You know, everything, dude. I you know all of the boy. weapons. I'm a weapon boy, a squishy weapon boy, squishy weapon boy, strength con. Okay. And then skills, animal handling, yes. athletics, intimidation, nature, perception, and survival. I have to choose two, choose two of those bad boys. Uh, I think I get so for the backgrounds that I'm looking at, I believe they all of them give. Oh wait, this is insight perception. What is this one? Athletic survival. Ah, oh, frick. Athletic survival, insight perception. Yeah. So obviously, if there's if there's something that your background would give you otherwise, mm -hmm. you can pick something different here. Yeah. Okay. Um, and that's kind of like I wanted to talk about the background stuff. So I'll pick sure. two here, and then I want to talk about background when we get to it because okay. we'll see how it fits in and if it fits in there's a particular one that i want to use but totally. okay uh, athletics intimidation nature perception and survival i'm not going to be a perceptive boy i'm gonna be i'm gonna be strong so give me that athletics and then we're gonna survive hell yeah right or I mean, intimidate survival makes makes mm. sense uh dm question yes. as a barbarian as a barbarian can't can I change my... Because I, I, I do this as well in my game. So this is up to you. Can I make my intimidation stat strength? Like you intimidate with force versus, uh, versus right. charisma Right. Like being check. intimidation wise, being a strong boy rather than... Because I've always thought it was interesting. There's only one strength ability in the entire yeah, list. Yeah, I And it's think, athletics. I think on the fly, depending on what type of intimidation you'd be doing. Like, if you described to me that you're going to pin this half-elf up against the wall and be and like, roar at them. where are the drugs? Yeah. Or I'll fucking breath <laughs> weapon you. Yeah. Um, I would probably say that that's a strength check. Um, 
but there okay. can be charisma intimidation. So I, I think I think that's something that we can and I can make a note that we could play that fast and loose uh, because I agree. I, I think that certain things uh, if we wanted to have you make a strength roll, but add your intimidation proficiency onto that. I think that's fair. OK, I think that's fair because uh, I'm going to pick intimidation. Sure. Yes, yeah, so I'm a make, big old I'll, dragon I'll board. A, I'll make another note right there. <laughs> oh, gosh. OK. <laughs> Uh, so now, any martial melee weapon, frick, I don't even know what that list is, or a great axe. Um, all right, so hang on, I'm gonna take a look at at weapons. Let's let's take a look at weapons chat, shall we? Um, let's see. Hang on. Oh. Five E tools, please. Weapon. Psionic weapon? No, 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 no. Weapon master? No, 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 no. Hang on now. Items. Table. Um. I guess what table is it? Is it an item table? Actually, I probably can do it directly from the barbarian. <laughs> what list. I end up doing? I'm a dummy. What I end up doing is uh, I'll just search the item and then it actually pops up and you could just kind of see it um oh true when, so when i'm dming like i have my laptop open on 5e e tools like on my table while my my i'm playing with my friends uh <laughs> because i don't know everything and flipping through a book I've, all yeah. the time like i love flipping through the book but like sometimes you need an answer rather uh i think the axe probably yeah it does the most damage the but... great axe I yeah mean, that, was, that was mcsillian's weapon of here's choice, the maybe. thing I think I might want a shield. Mm. I think I might want a shield. Okay. Okay. And um, I believe if you choose to go the way of unarmored defense, I don't think shield. Yeah, you can use the shield. You can use the benefit. shield, so right? You can. You can get. Some I'm kind of yeah, thinking yeah. that. Sure. Um, I think I'm gonna go battle axe and shield. If that's battle axe all right is with you. Yeah. Is it? Oh yeah, because great uh, axe. Is it's a versatile. Yes. yes it so. Is. Yes. 1d8 one-handed, 1d10 two-hand. Battle X. So it is. Yeah, absolutely. I'm and thinking, then you, know, you can drop your Battle shield. X. And uh, now this, this came up last if I night because um, my guy has a, a quarter staff. You don't have mm. to have a proficiency in versatile, do you? No, it's not a mm -mm. thing, right? Okay, cool. No, no, no. I, if you, it just reason, means was, you I have had, it. I had some like mental block last night when I was playing. I was like. Do, do I need to be versatile? Like, or or is if it has the property, can I just do it? Okay, cool. Got For it. those of you guys that don't know and you don't use roll twenty, I just literally click and drag in battle axe and it automatically updates everything it that you need to have in here so attack choice. wise. It is so it's choice. super nice. Um and they've done really well in updating all of this stuff too. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a shield on here so I don't forget. Absolutely. Um uh, do you get that as a character because or, or as equipment? I think because so. if I think not so. See, I'm not I seeing I it, but I mean, I, I would I would just give it to you if if that's the way you're going. Oh, I don't. Oh, if you're doing Can, if you're doing battle axe and shield, I mean, that's fair. Like, I'll give you a shield. OK, yeah, okay. I, I that, that no. makes sense to me. Cool. I'll take it. Dope. You came, you came you you lived with dwarves. I would assume they made you a fucking shield. Yeah, like I mean, like you're <laughs> you're fine. I, I feel like it's it, it's yeah. always an interesting thing. It's like, yeah, no, I just would have left. Yeah, without you, that i would have taken the no, axe no you are not i think i think a lot of the times uh these characters when they're created are assumed to have just woken up one day and are like i'm gonna be an adventurer i'm just gonna acquire these things like they didn't exist until the moment they were created with these weapons and armor and it's like yeah no there's 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 they had a life before that they came from a place like if you were a hermit and didn't know how to craft a shield Maybe I'd sure. say, uh, you got to pick it up along the way and spend some gold. But it yeah. came from fucking dwarves. Like, please, <laughs> they make you things. Get they made, they made things. Give me a break. Uh, I'm just going to, I'm putting uh, the hand axes in sure. the explorer's pack and the javelins. I'm just dropping those bad boys in there because they're standard. Sure. Uh, and so we're all filled out in that regard. Fa fantastic. Sure. Um, first things first. Class resource. First things first, baby. Rage. Hell <laughs> Rage, yeah. baby. You get two of those bad boys oh, per day. God. That's good. That's and good. And plus per day. two damage for raging. 
Rage. Hell yeah. Uh, this is a class, and this is Barbarian. Yarp. So he's going to be named Dave. Uh, Dave the Barbarian. the Barbarian. Oh my god. Shout out. What a great show. Uh, okay, so in battle, blah, blah, blah. It tells me everything that I get. Advantage on strength checks and strength saving throws. Melee weapon attack with strength. You gain plus two bonus to a damage roll. Increases as you level. Um, yeah, dope. Okay, that's a normal thing. Uh, and then unarmored defense. Which I'm going to make great use of, hopefully. And by great use, I mean not dying immediately. <laughs> 10 plus dex plus con. And you can use a shield and still gain this benefit. Hell yeah. So, 10 plus dex plus con. So, 12. So, my... I have an armor class of 14, chat. Right. Feeling good. The shield is two? Feeling good. Yeah, shield's two. Nice. That's that's not bad Feeling... for our armor defense. Yeah, it's good. just, man, my rolls were trash. Yeah, but <laughs> I think, because I was thinking about it with Darian versus like McSwiggins, I was like, wow, Darian has a high AC because he's got all that armor. Yeah. And I was like, how did I survive anything with McSwiggins? Um, and it was... Rage. It's the rage. It, it cuts mm -hmm. your damage in half. Mm -hmm. It's insane. It, it's great. You really have to use. I'm that. really, I'm really yeah. gonna have to be all about yeah. that. Um, well, because okay, cool. I, I forget. Like I am very, and it's the way I play like JRPGs too. Like I'm very, like I hide my resources. Um, Kimma, I meant. <laughs> wow. Thanks. Wow. Appreciate it. Hey, uh, actually, and it, it that was not, super mean. I, I have a I have a tendency to like lean into past characters. Um, let me just look at the timeline of this realm right now. Okay. Do does do these two things? No, interesting. McSwiggins was not born yet, so he will not ah. in this campaign. Ah, he won't be there. Oh yeah. no. Yeah, this is about. Oh, no, this is about. 20 years before he was born. We only have uh, room for one barbarian. Yeah, no, no, absolutely. Okay, well, that's, you know what I'm like, saying? When, when I was like, oh, my original idea was was the stuff at Mount Dragonback, I was like, I don't want to have McSwiggins in every campaign that I do. I need to I need to cut this tie. <laughs> uh, but yeah. I'm adding a note to all of my attacks that just say plus two if raging. Yes. Okay. Good idea. Yeah. I, um, I know that we did. We we had done a made two different ones. Yeah, we had made it's... two different ones. But I think we we'll we'll just know uh, if you're rage, raging. Add that plus two. You know what I mean? Yep. 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 Uh, okay. Cool. So that does my class. That does my does that, race. That's everything. That's, uh, that that's, is. I, yes. It's super simple. I'm yes. a barbarian. There's there's not a whole lot you going on here. Rage there. Cool. So, um, so background then. Background. So here's the deal. And after my rolls, I kind of don't know if I want to do this anymore. But... Yeah. So chat, there's one that, and it depends on on where we actually are. So you sent me that thing sure. that says where like the mountain is or whatever. Did, but yeah. there's a background here that I hadn't read before. Uh, it's from the Sword Coast Adventurers Guide, so it's a published material. Sure. Um, called Far Traveler. Oh, let me. Uh, um, sorry, let me. And it's like a, it's a take office. on it's the. Uh, it, so it's a take on Outlander essentially. Um. But it's like you you've traveled very far. Yeah. Uh, so you're far away from home. But I don't know how far away this mountain actually is. Like where I would have uh, come from for this. It, it's it's a, at least a province away. Um, at least a so so Mor Moreka, um, mm, mm, no, I'm not gonna grab my maps. I don't even know where they are. Um, <laughs> it's okay. like directly south of Prospera, which is um, on the eastern side of Prospera, is the beginning of the Bronze Rise, and then the Bronze Rise is kind of like a border to another province on the right there. So the Bronze Rise actually extends for some some way so we can say like yeah you possibly traveled to get to Moreka. you traveled at least across one border to get there so if you're far east enough it's like two borders over so yeah okay i would say far traveler for so sure. the the reason like I, I was gonna ask is be like okay um so there's like an accent mannerisms and figures of speech and your appearance mark you as foreign 
Uh, so it was one of those things that, like, far enough away that that matters. Well, yeah, and I mean, appearance marking you as foreign, sure. I mean, there's but, but not a lot of dragonborn. Dragonborn. <laughs> there. Well, and if there are, they're 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 green. They're like the poison ones. Um, oh. Is where you're located, like the beasties the and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. So absolutely, a bronze dragonborn is it stands out. And I yeah, I made that clear when you had asked. I was like, you you're going to obviously stand out a little bit. Um. Cool. Like, yeah, so the common ones around there would probably mm. be green, maybe black, like if there are dragonborn mm -hmm. around, uh, which again, there's not a whole lot in this. Chromatics. Game. Dan's game, chromatics. Those Ew. Chromatics. Ew, chromatics. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Uh, so the proficiencies for this one, though, and this is kind of why I was up in the air about taking it or not after the sure. rolls, was insight and perception. Ah, I Which see. is like. Nah. Whereas like Outlander is athletic survival and the tribal one is athletic survival. And I'm uh, like, yeah, oh, man. which you already have based on barbarian. Yeah, no, I, I would say if this is published and it doesn't seem broken, I it matches your character, the all eyes on you stuff. Sure. Um and uh why are you here? I mean, that's a lot of it helps, you know, it helps with uh building your dude. Uh your mm -hmm. You're looking for you're kind of like a pilgrim, if if what I understand. That's yep, that's is, exactly what I was yeah. going with was the pilgrimage thing. Yeah, so you're on a you're on a pilgrimage to to find somebody in the swamp for sure. Some some um source that, that knows what uh he or she is talking about and uh maybe has some insight into your destiny and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Uh accents, mannerisms, figure speech, perhaps your appearance mark is foreign. Absolutely. Curious glances are directed your way, which can be a nuisance, but you can also gain friendly interest of scholars and others intrigued by far off lands. Yeah, absolutely. Um, that's that's more or less how I was going to play it. Um, cool. NPC interaction wise. So this this makes sense. This totally fits. Sense. Totally fits. Cool. 100%. Um, like it was made so for you, baby. Going down the list, I like using the the suggested ones just as a, a way to build a, a base sure. background. Absolutely. Obviously, this isn't going to be the end of who this character is. No, but no, this no. This is a roll, good place roll for, for these, us. and you only play uh, to, the way to, that the dice roll. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Sure. My rolls have, have been never, so good. I have never rolled for personality traits, ideals. Really? Bonds, I think we had never we had it. someone. Because I've always had something in mind, and then I kind of oh. match uh, the closest thing. No dice, Mike. Did pure rolls. Did on he? everything he rolled for like that's everything. exciting i want to try yeah. it one time when yeah I, when i'm not particularly inspired to make a character but i always I feel at, like i always come at it with a character in mind sure i feel like if i ever do another one shot or something i'm just rolling it just heck it oh. rolling it oh, in yeah. doing it because oh, yeah. i always thought it was I, cool i should have I done it for harvest to be honest ken was a very uninspired character i just kind of wanted to be a part of it well you know um he ended up eaten yeah so so, he's dead, so fuck him yeah, he's dead. He was a cannibal and then got eaten. Uh, oh, so he's fine. Yeah, he's fine. Uh, cool. Uh, okay, so personality trait-wise, I, I kind of read through these a little bit earlier. Sure. Um, different assumptions from those around me concerning personal space. Uh, I don't think I don't think that's going to fit. Uh, own ideas about what is and what is not food. Uh, I don't think it matters. <laughs> Strong code of honor, sense of propriety, others don't comprehend. I kind of was sitting on that one a little bit. Express affection or contempt in ways that are unfamiliar. Eh, that might just happen anyways. Um, honor de deities through practices that are foreign to this land. So these are the bo the bottom two here were the ones that had to do with yeah deities and worship, which yeah. might be different from what is in the area. And that was a question that I had for you because I don't know the the deity structure as well as you do, obviously. Sure. Um. So there's the 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 overarching creation myth of the dwarves with like the the god of war, which was a a dragon yep. that you know spewed fire across the land sure, and. Sure. and caused it to be created um yeah so, like, so for the dwarves all the all the gods are represented by dragons um okay and and the bellium the 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 god of war was just the strongest one and he got he won the honor in combat to create the realm um and so that's their creation myth that's why the dwarves are super into dragonborns like they're like oh my god it's like it's like how in, in the judeo-christian religion we are uh all made in the image of god sure the dragonborns are made in the image of god not that sure. the dwarves are unworthy but the dragonborns but like, are like literally though those <laughs> are the 
uh, like image of God. Like holy shit, sure. these these like honorable creatures. Like dwarves will love you anywhere you that's, go. That's interesting. Absolutely. Are they are they as favorable with the like chromatic ones as well? Um yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. Just just dragonborn in general um are are viewed as uh, uh as honorable strong warriors um just just good people just obviously like made in the image of uh of the gods i mean belium what did i say he was let me pull this up uh he is a do, 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 do. um he is a he's a brass dragon uh mm. and so is he brass or is he gold? He's one of the fire ones. I believe he's. I believe he's brass. Well, um, I mean, if you want him higher up on the hierarchy, gold is always a better way to go. It is true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Um. So he, uh, uh, those that color dragonborn would be like the most favorable. But they're all kind of like they don't see like a uh like a green dragonborn and say oh filthy chromatic. Like it's it's like no like these are wondrous creatures that are made in the image of the gods. Because it doesn't mean Bellium's the only god, it just means he's the strongest one. Um, so either way, like these are born of of the gods. Uh if there were fanatics, you'd probably say, Oh, my 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 god is superior to yours, blah, 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 blah. Uh sure. but at least in this in these provinces, uh dwarves are cool with dragonborns, for sure. So do they have I guess this is like my honor, my deities through practices that are foreign to this land. So the land that we're in, yes. Do they have a, a like a specific deity that they are are interested in, or they worship, yeah. or do they recognize absolutely the, the the dragons like Bellium or something like that? Do they have a different structure completely? Sure. So so the the idea of the gods, uh, the only differences really from area to area uh, is the depictions of them, the traditional way that they're depicted, the names of them. So Bellion okay. could be named something different that I can't pull off the top of my head right now. Um, but it, it is something I will think about. Um, and kind of just the the gods that they uh, recognize as being like favorable for that area. Like, like there's no denying the presence of divine magic in this world. Uh, it's it's ever present. Um, there's religions built around it, uh, but not everybody that has access to it. Uh, needs to belong to a religion, they might just be attuned to it the same way that somebody's attuned to arcane energy. Um, and so uh, the god of life uh, is typically uh, who, like, farmers and, um, and, and uh, yeah, like, like farmers and, and whatnot and, and nature lovers, uh, they um, pray to uh, the god of life and uh, the god, god of nature. Like, those are the two that are very present uh in the lives of these farmers um okay so somebody who who touts like the god of wars teachings isn't gonna be an outcast per se uh your 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 appearance would make you more of an outcast than that uh belief would um okay they simply don't need like they don't they don't see a need of the the war gods right. things uh the they're more gods. worried about their crops sure than, the closest like, thing war. they have the cypress company to to sure. be the muscle you know it's fine gotcha um okay okay yeah so and and you're gonna find that not a lot of pl these places are overly religious mm -hmm. um at least at least in the immediate area um but that would be the center of their their faith if they had one cool these people uh, I'm going to go with rituals just so we can add some sure. flavor Absolutely. to like whatever we're doing. I mean, there's, do that. yeah, there's, there's probably rituals to, to like pray for a good harvest this year. And, and there's a festival that happens at the harvest and everything. <laughs> um, and your ritual would be nothing like that. So, yeah, yeah I, I, I mean, you know, absolutely. S uh, sacrificial uh, bloodletting uh, probably sure, is, probably uh, not, yeah, uh, you know? no, no, definitely not that. Pro um, probably not that. No, uh, super not into that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the lamenting of the of the women and children as I, I drive my enemies before me. Is that not? Huh? I'm going to say that, that doesn't come up when harvesting cranberries. Um, uh, could be wrong, though. Cranberries uh, are red. Oh, dude, cranberries. Dude, Sam. Yo, New oh, Jersey. So Come to New Jersey, baby. <laughs> it's like one of the only fucking good things here. <laughs> um, okay. Property uh, tax. Huh. Ideal. Um, I, I did go through this one. 
a little bit. Uh, and and I think it kind of fits with him. Like, okay, it's a he's a kind of maybe a little bit reserved guy in a different land. Sure, uh, he's gonna be a little respectful. The traditional thing for the metallics is like, okay, they're lawful good and whatever, and that's fine. We'll okay. just go ahead and put that in there. So uh, cautious and respectful in dealings because it doesn't know what's going on. Um, the last one I have. Oh yeah, this the bond I I knew absolutely because we talked about how he's a little bit of an outcast from the traditional tribe that he was at because they were all like brass or otherwise. Um, and I think we had talked about that a little bit. Uh, so, though I had no choice, I lament having to leave my loved ones behind. I'm like, okay, you know what? I hope he has a good relationship with his parents. And I think that's what I'm, I'm, I'm shooting for there. Be like, yeah, yeah, good good relationship with the parents sure. at least. And so he's like, man, I'm sad that I left them behind. Or like a mentor or a teacher or something like that, even yeah, though he's absolutely. a bit of an outcast from the sure. tribe itself. Um, the flaw... Hang on, what did I have? A weakness for the exotic beauty of the people of these mm. lands. Mm, hey, yes. elves. Elves, baby. Oh, Everybody elves. Wants an elf girlfriend. Elves. Um, I'm going to give him two flaws because I like flawed characters. So Absolutely. I'm just going to give him two base flaws. Definitely a weakness for pretty people. <laughs> uh, and then a weakness for the intoxicants. All right. All right. He likes to hit the sauce a little bit. Let's yeah. go. You know, that cranberry and vodka is something else. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Oh, you know, God. you know, it's getting real if you've all got right. that cran vodka going on. All right. Um, so, yeah, I just copy and paste both of those over Perfect. there. Um, am I? I don't. What else? What else is there? Chat. What am I missing? So I, I believe that's it. Let me look over. So is we, this the character hit? or Joel talking? Wow. Golly. Uh, wow. So you rolled your stats. They were you know a thing they were trash um, that's they you were a thing applied your character modifiers oh. and proficiencies and all that oh. your languages your barbarian stuff you got rage you got yeah the background i think that's everything i think that is everything i think that's everything cool proficiencies yeah i don't get oh wait i missed part of my background oh did you totally right uh, oh, you're yeah. right. You're right. Any any one musical instrument or game or gaming set, choice, likely something native to your homeland. What would be native, uh, like bet between oh, any of this? Interesting. Do they all play violins? Is that no, like definitely is that not? What they do definitely okay. not. Um, okay. Um, that's interesting. I <laughs> maybe it's the Witcher music talking, but I I associate dice with dwarves right now because I've been playing sure. the Witcher and there's dice poker in it. I was talking. Um, I was thinking about dice, anyways. Yeah. Okay. So... Perfect. Dice. They they love dice. Can yeah. I can I I get that proficiency and I also get that gaming set. Okay. So I have a dice set. You awesome. Any... Um. What what oh, what yeah. proficiency is dice? D dice proficiency. I I literally you're you're just the <laughs> un what un what is unlike, it? Unlike <laughs> unlike Joel, uh, you have RNG Jesus is on your side. <laughs> with dice rolls um dude, dude so so dice dice proficiency i take it strength as... strength strength no i throw the dice real hard no 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 i i think of it more i rage and throw dice i think of it more why is it asking you for a for a skill? no it just said it's an attribute and it just says what's the attribute for a dice set proficiency or just it's luck, like when you'd have thieves tools, or, or, yeah, you know what i, I mean, mean? The the attribute I'm, for dice would be it might actually be charisma because I I consider it to be uh, you have a good poker face you have a good um, deception oh god it could either be that or intelligent well I don't want to be intelligence because you got an eight but um, uh, I don't know actually that's interesting maps I have maps uh, sure. of homeland apparently so that's good. That's good. Chad is saying Dex. See, I don't see it as Dex just because I don't see it in the skill at which he he rolls. I see it as the skill in which he plays. So if it was something like dice poker, um, you know, he's got a poker face. Uh, but who, who knows? P -p -p poker yeah. face. P -p poker face. Um, so a small piece of jewelry in the style of my homeland's craftsmanship. We got dwarves. What would be the style of a, a, a piece of jewelry? What would what would I what would be there? Piece of jewelry. worth about ten GP. Piece of jewelry. Home, I feel like it would be like a, a craftsmanship. So uh, go on. I feel what like you, 
Yeah. Be like a an amulet of some sort to one of like to the either Bellium or we had sure. talked about the Storm God as well. So like sure, one sure. of those two things. Um it could be yeah, so that would be interesting. Uh so it could either be something from uh yeah, it could either be a depiction of a dragon uh of some sort or um Yeah, which oh god, which god would I oh yeah, this would be Tempest. Um yeah, what's the symbol for Tempest, Rob? Oh, that is interesting. Ooh. Let's think about this. Um, it's a lightning bolt. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> like that's, the easy, that's the easy That's the easy. solution. Would be Absolutely. A bolt. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking maybe a uh, some sort of bronze cast uh, with, a, with a gem inside uh, of a lightning bolt. Um, okay. Okay. Um, like shaped like a lightning bolt. That's interesting. Like a blue, blue gem inside of it. Sure. Yeah, I can dig it. Because it would definitely I'm be just something put metal. Amulet the Tempest for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Um, dwarven craftsmanship does not is not restricted to weapons and armor. Uh, mm -hmm. It's 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 an art form, really. I mean, they're they're artisans. Um, they uh, they're crafty boys. Worth 10 GP. What's it worth to you, boy? 10 GP. All right. Fair. Worth my life. Fair. Worth my life. Uh, okay. And I think that actually, I think that's all of the things for that background. That is all the things for the background. And that's all the money. Yep. Travelers did closed. the money, did the thing. Uh, 5 GP for background. Um... So, oh, now the mountain region that's, that's here. I was thinking about this earlier. Sure. Is it like... Um, are we talking like the Rockies, the Alps? Is it like a singular mountain? So like when I where I grew up, we had like a small mountain sure. called Kennesaw Mountain, and it sure, was sure, mostly sure. like pine trees. Like no, so these are very warm. These are very rocky, uh, and it's a mountain range. So there's there's multiple. Mountains oh, there's a range. Here. Okay, yeah, 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 absolutely. The Bronze Rise is not just a mountain. Uh, it just gets into mountainous uh, regions, and yeah, it's very it's very rocky. Um, there's not a ton of trees. Uh, it's, the, the, I mean, you know, there's obviously soil and whatnot to grow crops and shit in these in these little villages. Um, it's all like root vegetables and, and stuff. Um, yeah, very rocky region. Uh, and I can give you a formal map of the Bronze Rise at some point. Cool. I'd um, love that. Yeah, I have I have the makings of it. Uh, what what my party IRL has encountered, uh, but I need to expand on that for sure. That's I mean totally, man. I'm down. Um, I think that covers all of those things. What else? Uh, is there anything else you want to share about the the world itself, or share about the world uh, itself, or or uh, hinting at what other people have talked about, or about the campaign ahead? Absolutely. Like, what, is there is there anything you wanna you wanna say? Um, so I don't want to speak on behalf of the other players just in case they didn't want things revealed. Sure. Um, but I will say that you and Stella, uh, you've discussed it with me both separately and you've both discussed it together are, um, I can say whatever I want about Stella's character. So Stella's character is fucking dope. Um, no, sweet, so, 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 sweet. Character, so she, uh, she's actually, uh, very closely tied to your character in that you for and and maybe this is for you guys to decide uh or it could be for me to decide if if you want me to give you kind of the reasoning behind this uh but as i understand it you are seeking her wisdom out some word has traveled of a wise woman uh in moreka um that is very very uh in tune with with the universe and the stars and destinies and and like tarot readings and everything you know all that stuff um like a baba yaga type like swamp hag almost um and so you've been questing to to find her uh mm -hmm. because um as we've kind of talked about uh the the the, the god of war is um, not the type of dragon that you're depicted as, and fire is typically associated with the, the dwarven creation myth, uh, but you're a lightning dragon. 
And um, whereas there's a lot of bronze dragonborn uh, in your tribe, you're one of the only brass dragons. And that's a little weird. Uh, it's, it's made you, as you've said, kind of an outcast. Different people have different opinions on what this means. Um, sure. And so you've always been closely tied to the God of Tempest um, because of your lightning abilities and everything. And so uh, the mountain that I think we talked about, the mountain that you guys are on um, is is typically tied with uh, to, to the to the God of Tempest. Um, like it was one of the mountains that he was allowed to create after Bellium created most of it. He he left. He left the rest to be filled in by his other gods and every or the other gods rather. Um, so that's where trees and oceans and everything come in. Um, Cause all he was concerned with was like the earth and the power and everything. Um, and he was like, all right, you guys do the rest of it. Fuck it. I'm going to go rest. Um, and so you've always thought you have this higher calling. You've always thought mm -hmm. that there's this higher destiny and everything. Um, and so you seek out Stella's character. So that's what at least brings you to the land of Moreka. Um Pilgrimage. Pilgrimage. Yeah, pilgrimage. Absolutely. Pilgrimage. Awesome. Yeah. I'm super, dude, I'm super stoked about this. It's super <sighs> It's going to be awesome. Uh, so chat okay. again, read this right here. Uh, May 30th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We will be starting this show, <laughs> Cyprus. Yeah. It'll be our first episode, and it's going to be, uh, it'll be a thing. My guy is, the roles were terrible. Oh, there um, it is. Uh, sorry. Uh, the the rival trading company is Moraken Enforcement and Trade. I knew I wrote it down somewhere. M E T. <laughs> M E T. It was formed. The M E T. It was formed in the year. So Cypress Company was formed in two seventy five. The campaign picks up in two eighty nine, and Moraken Enforcement and Trade is a very new formation that happened earlier that year. Uh, awesome. So yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. This is good. You good? All right. So, Rob, let's do some shout-outs. Where can the people find you at? Oh, gosh. Uh, the people can find me at twitch.tv slash bonus underscore stage underscore Rob, where I am playing a bunch of games, doing a bunch of stuff. Um, actually, today, in about an hour, uh, I'll be going live with Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Uh, it's Sundays are kind of my hang out with the viewers and do things with the viewers day. Uh, so if you have a Switch and you have Ultimate and you have a Nintendo Online subscription, come fight me and probably be better than me. Um, I'm not very good. I know how to play, play, play Link real good. Um, and that's about it. Uh, and yeah, so I'll be doing that at 1. And then later on today at 5 p.m., I will be on twitch.tv slash encounter roleplay playing Verulo Venucci, uh, a man from the Italian Renaissance who is displaced through time. Um, actually, I don't know what time period we're going to be in today. F tune in to find out. Uh, on an apocalypse world campaign called apocalypse when yeah awesome thank so you very that. much uh for those of you guys that might have jumped in a little bit late we now have an official die fall twitter account we do. hit that link go follow the thing casting announcement has been had uh so again that is that's going to be rob dming myself playing stella playing the lady may and nick kibbles um it should be uh it should be a pretty pretty darn good time. Uh that all being yeah. said, we're going to we're going to wrap it up here. I'm going to toss this up on the uh, on the YouTube here in a little bit and uh until next time. Oh boy. Later. Bye.